Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, we live in a land of yo-yo dieting. We all know people who have lost 10 pounds and gained 10 pounds for, for decades. We're going to be talking to a healthy living expert who's going to teach us how to make it a lifestyle. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. I have to confess, there have been times in my life when I have really dialed it in, I've been in peak shape, and then there are other times when I see my favorite cheesecake and I will I could eat the whole thing. Uh, to talk about healthy living today, Dr. Alex Spinoza, he's uh, the founder of Genesis Lifestyle Medicine. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me, Jeff. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Okay, so is it as hard as it looks? I mean, to, to adopt a lifestyle that you can live with, can well, tell people how this works yeah i think that's the number one mistake that everybody has when they start to try and uh, get healthier is that they'll go to a doctor or they'll go to their trainer and their entire lifestyle has to be completely changed and that's just the wrong way to do it jeff we want to make sure that a patient or a client knows that they can do little things over time that can really make a big difference in their life because we live uh, quite honestly a pretty long life quite a healthy life and making sure that doing those little things every single day will actually really improve your your lifespan as well as your life quality. And you have always been a relatively healthy guy. Relatively, yeah. <laughs> Health is a strong word, but yeah, absolutely. Relatively healthy. Always make sure I make sure I go to the gym, making sure eating right and things like that. Absolutely. And you were telling me before we went on that your mom and dad didn't feed you junk food as kids. They really didn't. No, they, they really wanted to make sure that my sister and I were as healthy as possible. Uh, they grew up really being poor and not having a lot. So they had to eat a lot of junk food and things like that. So they wanted to make sure that my sister and I really didn't have to do that as much as possible. So they ingrained it into both of us that it was uh, very important to eat healthy and to get out and have different activities and exercise and things like that. So I want to take you back a few years. Uh, 2017 is this video. Yes. And this is you as a, as a bodybuilder builder as a competitive bodybuilder tell us about this and what were you working on at that point uh so i believe this was one of the national bodybuilding shows that i was actually training for uh back in my home in palm springs where, where i used to uh, work and live and it really uh, took a lot of dedication to get to this level um, this is not what normal people walk around at. So especially with the bodybuilding, it's uh, really 90% mental. There's, you know, 10% dieting and, and making sure you're eating the right foods. But a lot of it is that mental aspect where you have to push yourself beyond uh, what would be normal for people. And what I like about that, you know, from a patient standpoint is you've actually lived it. And so there, sometimes I'll go see a doctor and, and the doctor is 30, 40 pounds overweight. Right. I'm like, what are you doing telling me I need to eat better? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Jeff. They have that saying, you know, never trust a fat trainer. It really should be the same for physicians and for providers of medicine. If you want to have your patient change their lifestyle and really live a healthier lifestyle, you have to do the same. It's always, you know, be the example for what you want to teach others and for what you want to do. You do that a lot, obviously, with, with PR and the news and everything, and you've done it for years. So if you didn't do that, nobody would believe you when you say, hey, you know, you need to be doing this, this, and this to really get your brand out there, so on and so forth. It's the same in the medical field. Why does it seem that we get fatter and fatter every year, and yet there are more products and more information than ever before? 
I think uh, two different things, maybe decision fatigue. There's so much stuff out there, so much of, hey, this is the best diet for you. That's the best diet for you. This way of life, uh, you know, whether it was Adkins in the past or now it's veganism and carnivore and et cetera. There's so much information out there that people just get really confused because essentially we are studying less and less. So what we're doing is just listening to uh, memes on the internet or <laughs> news that may be spouted off from a third party that doesn't really have its data set. So I think patients or people in general are just kind of getting so much information they don't really know what to believe. And two, it takes dedication and, it, you know, sticking to your diet, sticking to uh, a certain lifestyle does take some dedication and that can't all be on uh, a provider or somebody else. It has to be with you and it has to start with uh you as a person let's talk about inflammation because i think yes. that's kind of like the root of all evil inside a body absolutely from dementia to uh weight gain and so when when you go to your favorite restaurant and they hand you that that basket of rolls right and you indulge exactly what are you doing to yourself so really what you're doing is is creating a, a histaminic response in the body an inflammatory response you're creating something called free radicals and free radicals are, you know, little damaging inflammatory markers in the body that can damage tissue, they can damage your arteries, they can damage your organs over time. And doing that over and over and over, our bodies are pretty strong. They can withstand a lot, but consistently doing that over time just makes us age and makes us break down faster. Yes. And I, I want you to know this is a good family, man. And when I say family, it was like a very fast family <laughs> right. you went from right. a couple to dad of three yeah. let's let's show the gender reveal because this is so cute this is you and your beautiful bride and you guys are doing a gender reveal with uh three three uh, candles right, right. <laughs> yeah that was before i did my own hair transplantation too so that's that's pretty bad man now, now that i can see it on the tv <laughs> gotta photoshop that later <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. i was excited so um, what's that like going from couple to now? I mean, you got a full house. Yeah, we have a full house there. Uh, two months now. <laughs> That's a gorgeous picture. I love that photo. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, it was a pain to get them to to sit still enough to, to Photoshop them together. <laughs> but uh, they're wonderful. They're absolutely... Uh, a blessing. I mean, my my grand my parents, their grandparents are here this week uh, visiting, and it's been an absolute blessing. And uh, we wanted to start with a couple, and we ended up with three. And we actually didn't know that was going to happen until uh, the ultrasound happened, and it was pretty quiet in the ultrasound room at that time wow. when we did figure that out. This is a different kind of question. How has mm. uh, being a dad of triplets made you a better physician? Um, I think it's taught me to be more patient. Uh, really, it's uh, patience is a lot of things with kids. Anybody that has has kids or has coached uh, any type of young sports team, patience is a virtue. Uh, even when they're they're screaming and they're crying and they're complaining, always finding out what's wrong. And I I say for my kids, it's their why. Like why are they screaming or why are they playful or why are they you know pooping their pants in the middle of the night? But it's the same with patience. Why? Like why are you living this way? What can I do to help you change your lifestyle and finding out where they're coming from? And once you know where somebody's coming from, then you can always help them. We're almost out of time. What are some final thoughts? What would you like to leave people with? I think really when it comes down to living healthy, you don't have to make huge changes. You don't have to eliminate everything from your diet. You don't have to go to the gym three hours a day. You know, 30 minutes a day, three times a week is a good start. Uh, cutting out just sugary sodas or sugary foods is a good start. Those little things over time will help build dedication and will help you build that confidence to make those big changes in life. And it will add up over time. Dr. Alex Spinoza, we're going to end with your website, which is genesislifestylemedicine.com. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Jeff. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.